final episode, season five of the Johan Cruyff Rebuild, where we're trying to rebuild Ajax, putting them back on the map in terms of using Johan Cruyff's famous Barcelona tactic, 3-3-3-1 total football. And we've had a couple of issues with it during the season in terms of not being quite able to make that leap from domestic football to European football. We've won the air division for the last four seasons as well. We need to finish that off as a minimum and hopefully spend some money because we didn't spend a penny in season four. Now, you Patreons, two things. Number one, thank you very much for your support. All you guys on the screen right now, tremendous. You've got your tactic file as a download right now anyway. That was through episode one. Also, I'm leaving this save file for you to download after season five. You can then download it, put it in as a save file, and you take Ajax on for the next five years using the tactic. Using the tactic, see what you can build. I imagine there will be a little bit of money to play with at the end of season five. All right, let's go and see what we've done in the transfer market. So first of all, Tuba Akpom went. He had a good couple of seasons for us, scored a couple of goals, and then he hasn't played. I was really annoyed that after that season two, we couldn't even get in like 10 million quid for him, but he's eventually gone, Sheffield United. Mansberg, I would have actually kept. Look at his value now, but he, he's gone to PSV. He was a backup for us, but he wouldn't sign a new deal, and that's the reason why. He's going to be really good for them, but... We've, we've got players in there. I think that's the issue. He's not quite good. He's, he's a good defensive player, not absolutely amazing on the ball. You know, maybe I should have played him a little bit more, but we have got some superb players in that area. We did sell over and out of Sanchez, a little bit unhappy with his game time. So he was valued at something daft like 40 million, and I'm quite happy. We paid 3.9, got 16 for him, helped boost our transfer budget, was a backup, 31 years old. Well, he was 38, he's just turned 31 as well. So I thought that was a good bit of business to get him off the books. He didn't play as much for us, only 20 starts, sorry, only 20 appearances in the league. Most, as you can see, nine starts all season with 20 as sub. And Deven Rench has gone to PSV, 5.25. He had a year left on his deal, said he was going to leave on a free. He's not amazing, is he? It doesn't suit what we want to do with our wingers and centre-halves. It was a nice little backup to play sometimes in defence, maybe play either side, but he'd only done, as you can see, a handful of performances over the four seasons for us. First signing in, came in £7 million, one of the early signings in the summer. It is a 19-year-old winger, left winger, to give us some really good depth out on that left-hand side. He's regarded as a wonder kid, really good physicals, as you can see, in terms of pace. Only small, but absolutely rapid. Not 90, not 20 as well until next April. Absolutely superb. Really happy that we've got him in relatively cheap. One of these players, once again, Walter Palazzi, who will potentially then get sold on for big money so then we can reinvest again. Interestingly as well, he came from Racing Club is where we got Munoz from. Munoz has made a tremendous start. I forgot to show him at the end of the season. We got him in January and he's done really well in that holding midfield role. We've brought in another Munoz, 1.7 million. Just as, once again, a little bit of a backup on that right-hand side. Carlos Borges is not quite up to it in terms of you know, potential, he's reached his maximum potential, I think like two and a half stars. So we've gone with this dude, potential five star, the absolute bargain, 1.4 million from a Chilean side, Everton, Davina de la Mar. Six foot one, which I liked, good dribbling, free kick taken, potentially good, could be a striker as well because of his physicals. Not 19 until the end of the season, so he's got a lot of development to do. I'm not gonna see much of him, but you guys, you patrons, will definitely feel the full force of him over the next few seasons. Once again, look on these positions, he's pretty comfortable in playing in all four attacking positions, which is really good because we do have rotations in there with us not having a unique number nine. Now, we don't have a unique number nine. It will be Van Bommel, but we've gone with someone a little bit special in behind. Dutch as well. I thought that was important to get a really big Dutch star in. £60 million, which is pretty much all of our budget but I'm pretty sure he will be worth it. Coming into his prime as well, 25, 26, started really well for us. I want him to be that shadow striker in behind Van Bommel. So we're looking really, really good. Nice little bit of youth to us as well. We've got the Setford brothers as backup goalkeepers. We've got really good options. We've also brought in Stallone Maria, who is wanted by some big European clubs. He's come from our youth system, so he is in the squad. However, probably won't play much, but as you can see, wanted, it's now Juventus. We've had bids from Real Madrid, Man United, Arsenal and Chelsea in the summer of around £8 million. And I thought, well, it's not really worth it because... We, don't, we aren't that desperate for the cash. Really good backups now. Brobby, Palazzi, Borges, uh, Munoz, Van der Boom, and Gaye's now looking a bit of a backup as well. Hato, we're looking super strong. Will it be enough? 
to get into the Champions League last stage. It'd be really good to sort of like get, you know, semi-finals would be good, win some domestic trophies as well. As you can see, we're top of the league in the Air Divisie, 21 out of 21, seven wins from seven, superb. European, as per usual, has not started that well. We've won the Euron Cruyff Shield, though, but we've just been beating Juventus, killed us a little bit. We took the lead, they equalised, took the lead again. Look, 52, and then Dusan Flavovic, 56 and 58. Really frustrating, but the league season has started superbly well. Difficult, I think. Juventus, Inter, Napoli, Lille, Salzburg, Bayern Munich... Galatasaray away and then Copenhagen so yeah it's qualifiable I'd be really disappointed if we don't get qualified it'd be nice though to try and finish in that top eight so then you miss out that last sort of like 16 that last 32 extra knockout game right we've come to the end of the season end of the journey the rebuild is I, I don't know let me know your thoughts I just don't think we've kicked on as much we've absolutely dominated in the air division five wins in five five league titles should I say in five and we finished with a really good points haul. Our second best points haul. We only, oh no, our best points haul. We've just lost the one game. AZ away, similar to last season, only two draws. FC Eindhoven as well, and Eagles, really disappointing. 31 wins, we've done the double over Feyenoord and PSV. 113 goals scored, 23 conceded, 90 goal difference. Absolute superb. It does show that this tactic does work superbly well as long as you are a strong team. The rest of it was a bit of a shambles. Knocked out in the league phase of the Champions League. Eight games, to only two wins, a 7-0 against Salzburg and a 5-3 against Lille. A draw against Copenhagen, which was probably, yeah, that was the one that killed us. The last game of the season, five defeats, including a 7-4 against Galatasaray. Look at the state of that. We were 2-0 up after three minutes. It was only, what, 2-1 at half time. Absolutely wild. That there has cost us probably even just a draw. We didn't equalise until the 90 plus four. If we'd have won that game, that would have been enough to see us qualify for the knockout round, but we didn't play that well. 62% of the ball, but didn't create a lot. That 7-4, though, is absolutely wild. End-to-end, -end, loads of XG on both sides. Bayern Munich, 1-0 at home. We beat the poorer sides, generally, and then can't handle when we play up against these big boys. Statistics-wise, Van Bommel, 30 goals in 39 games, so that is impressive for him, not being an out-and-out -out striker. Finish, to be fair, 15 finishing. I think he is a decent striker. DLF on attack. 28 goals from Nunes, having his best season. That from central midfield. I don't know what it is about this role in this tactic that sees them score so many goals. How many penalties has he scored? He scored five pens. Can't really say, oh, it's all down to set pieces because that is absolutely incredible from a central midfielder. He's never really played. If we look at his form, look, he's played a couple of games on the wing. He's played the box-to-box -box role, but that is absolutely wild. He's wanted as well, of course he is, Saudi. Simmons has come in, done okay. He's unhappy because I've not improved the coaching as, as much as we'd like, so you'll need that to deal with in the summer. You Patreons that are taking over the save. 19 goals, though, in 35. Only nine assists, but we are looking at him. We did want more goals from that area. With Bargi again, 31 goal contributions. Mastawano's been off it a little bit. Only 16 goal contributions, which was a little bit weird. He's not kicked on. He's probably had his poorest. Yeah, he's had his poorest season this year, especially as well in the league when we've absolutely dominated. 26 games, only five goals in 26, which bearing in mind when we scored, how many did we score? Like 113? Yeah, 113. That's a really, really poor return from him. So you Patreons, you've got a little bit of work to do. Contracts expiring, Univar is expiring at the end of the season. And then you've got players like Gay, Van der Boomen, Seth Van Berg, Pirola, Nunes, need to get that sorted, João Felix and Stallone Maria, our youngster, all with just a year left on their deal. Money-wise, it only says 10.75, but I don't think the new budget has come through yet. So I imagine, look, minimum, you're looking at £21 million. Potentially, a couple of sales in there, like... Seth Vandenberg always wants to go on a free transfer, so hopefully you can get a little bit of money in for him in the summer. There's plenty of players that you could sell on as well and make a nice little bit of profit. Kenneth Taylor's wanted by Saudi as well. Players like Bargi, but I'd imagine you want to keep Bargi. I think he's wanted by the big boys, yeah. He's wanted by 
Bayern Munich. All right, guys, I would love to know how you've done with the rebuild yourselves the next five seasons. So get into the Discord, hit me out on Patreon as well. You can chat to me on there. So uh, let me know, screenshots in particular. I'd love to see how well you've done. Thank you very much for watching. There may be another one of these coming out very, very soon. Haven't decided where we're going next, but thank you very much for your support. We'll see you later.